Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how I made this very sturdy, easy to disassemble and transport, steel frame overhead video camera platform. The best part, it only cost me $30 in supplies at my local home improvement store, and it only took one and a half hours of my time to put together. Once completed, you can easily connect LED lights to the top section of this platform to shine light down on the work area. Platforms like this will sell for around $200 online. Now you are going to require some tools to make this, and in a minute I'm going to show you exactly what they are. Let's get started. Right here is an overview of everything that you're going to need in order to assemble this overhead video platform. Two half inch EMT, which is electrical metallic tubing, inside corner pulling elbows. In order for me to mount my camera to the top part of the platform, I'm going to be using an 11 16th inch OD or 17 and a half millimeter OD bronze bushing with a plastic tube insert. You're also going to need four rubber bumpers. They're half an inch thick or 12 and a half millimeters thick. And I'm going to be bolting them to steel using number 10 by 32 pan head machine screws. And all the way to the left side, you can see there's two half inch EMT set screw connectors. Now in order to have high stability with this platform, you're going to need the steel that you see right here for the base. It's called C-channel. The thickness of the steel is 1 8 inch. It measures 1 and a half inches wide and 1 half inch from top to bottom. Each one of the steel C-channels that you see right here are 12 inches long or 30.5 centimeters. You can cut the channel using a hacksaw 18 to 24 teeth per inch, or you can use a chop saw with a metal cutting abrasive blade. To ensure that there's no sharp edges after cutting the metal, you want to take a mill file and round off all the edges. You're going to need to purchase a 10 foot length of half inch EMT, and you're going to cut two lengths to 24 inches or 61 centimeters, and one length of pipe to 28.5 inches or 72 centimeters. For the best results, I recommend using a tubing cutter, but if you do not have one, you can use a 24 or 32 tooth per inch hacksaw. The next step, you need to make a mark where the center is of the C-channel bases, and then you're going to take a 7 8 inch bimetal hull saw, and you're going to drill a hole straight through that steel. Once you drill all the way through, you want to make sure you remove any sharp edges using a file. Right here, you can see that I inserted the half inch EMT set screw connector. You want to make sure it's nice and flush, perfectly centered, and then you want to tighten the lock ring on the opposite side using pliers. Make sure it's tightened down very securely. The next step is to install the rubber bumpers or rubber feet for the platform. It's going to prevent the platform from sliding around as well as damaging surfaces. You can attach these using machine screws after you drill a hole into the steel and tap it, or you can just take some 3M double stick adhesive, place it on the wider side of the rubber bumper, and then stick it to the steel on the underside after wiping the steel down using 91% alcohol. You're going to apply some oil to the tap you're going to thread it in. Every so often, you're going to back out the tap. That's to clear away metal chips. And then you're going to go forward again until you're all the way through. And right here, we have a very nicely tapped hole. Take the file to both sides to clear away any chips. Now take the rubber bumper with the screw inside of it and thread it directly into the base. And you can see on the top side, after it's secured, only a very small amount of the machine screw is sticking up. Next, I mark the center of the long section of pipe. I'm going to take the bronze bushing. I'm going to make the right shape so it fits nicely against that pipe. And then after that's done, I'm going to braze the bronze fitting to the steel pipe. You do not want to braze the bushing onto the pipe. You can also secure the bushing to the pipe using a carriage bolt.
And right here is what it looks like after it's brazed together. If you're wondering how to do this, I have a video showing exactly how it's done. You can find the link to that video at the end of this video. Over here I inserted the plastic cap into the end and I made a cut using my Dremel with a cutoff wheel and that's to ensure the camera mount does not slide off. You'll see exactly why I did it in just a minute. In order to prevent the pipe from rusting in the area that it was heated, all I did was take a wire brush, clean it up, wiped it down with 91% rubbing alcohol, and then I sprayed a couple of layers of clear coat. And right here's a look at the base when it's complete with the rubber feet installed. Okay, let's take this inside and put everything together. Assembling the platform is very simple. You're going to take both of the bases, place them about 30 inches apart, and then you're going to slide this in, tighten it down securely. Keep in mind, this I would tighten really good because if you're going to transport this, there's no reason to take this apart. You can leave the short section of pipe together with the bottom. Next, you're going to take the other short section of EMT pipe and you're going to connect it to the other base. Right here, you can see both are now ready for the top section. The next thing you want to do before tightening the set screw on the two elbows is make sure the orientation is correct for the top pipe. And for me, that's 90 degrees from the surface. You're going to tighten the set screw down right here. These you want to really snug pretty good because you're not going to be taking these apart anymore. The only ones you're going to be taking apart are four screws. One here, one over there, one here, and the other one at the bottom. And then everything will come apart and lay perfectly flat. This screw over here is already tight. Now we're going to slide this section onto the two vertical sections of EMT pipe. Take this end over here, we're gonna slide it on top, and do the same over here. And now you're gonna tighten these up securely. This is going to get very sturdy once that screw is tightened down. And that is it. Now I'm going to mount the camera to the top section of the platform. The camera mount I'm going to be using is off of this tripod. Very inexpensive. You can pick it up at Walmart. It looks like what you see right here. It does have that quick release lever to remove the camera. And you can see the bolt inside sticks into the diameter of that rod that goes inside. And that's the reason why I made that groove on the top of the brass bushing once I brazed it in position. On the top is the cut that I made. That's going to prevent the entire camera mount from sliding off. Very carefully just take this, slide it over, insert this, tighten it down, And this will not move, guys. This is really strong. Loosen this. And have full control. I can actually go further back if this wasn't here. But all the way down and all the way back. If you'd like to use a different mount, then you're going to have to modify the brass bushing that's brazed to the pipe. Just put something else there that's going to be able to connect your camera to that upper pipe. Whatever you decide to do, make sure the camera does not move around and make sure that the connection to the upper rail is extremely strong. You do not want your DSLR to fall off and break. The part that's going to lock in is on the bottom of the camera. And right here you can see the camera in that mount. It is very sturdy and you don't have to worry about it falling over. You can easily mount two separate LED lights, one here, one on the other side of the camera, or you can purchase a two foot long one inch wide by about a half of an inch thick LED strip light so when you turn it on you'll have full exposure of light directed down at the work area. Right here is what it looks like with the two foot LED 4000K light attached to the top of the platform. You can see looking down on the platform that the light is not much wider than the half inch pipe. The light and the wiring is secured to the pipe using velcro straps. With the light level reduced in the room, this is what it looks like. 
The area below the camera is illuminated extremely well. A really great setup, and if you want to save a lot of money, build your own if you have the tools. Thanks for watching.